Hey guys, how you doing? I'm just going to give you a bit of an update and a bit of a chat. Um, it's a few days before Christmas on, on Sarnia. I still own Sarnia. Now part of this is um, kind of in a way good fortune because I have actually, you know, I had that knowledge 25 and, and I started thinking about the benefits of having a trailer sailor <coughs> and a few people said, oh, you know, it'd be a great thing to have and I got to thinking it would actually be really cool. So I got to thinking, oh, maybe I'll sell Sarnia and get a, there's a, there's a really nice trailer sailor for sale in Tauranga. Um, what is it, a Cirrus 20. And, I mean, the Knowledge 25 realistically is a bit big for me to handle on the water, no problem, but on off the trailer on my own is a bit hard than that, I think. Um, but anyway, something like a 24, I got to thinking um, that might be a good idea. And and next year, I um, I have a financial goal of buying a house in Dunedin next year. So I, um, <coughs> I um, want to really concentrate on work and not trading boats and uh, not muck around with boats any more than just my own boat and so I was thinking oh, if I sell Sarnia I won't have to the travel and the upkeep and just a cheap trailer sailor and it'll save money but I, it's too hard I've, I've had Sarnia off and on treat me the last month and um, no one's bought it and uh, that's one of the problems and what strangely it's a blessing because I was down to like 5,000 and this is a hell of a nice boat like um, if I had seen it for 5,000 any part of my life I would have, you know, walked over hot coals to buy it. Um, but the boat market's changed and, um, you know, people are giving away boats now, aren't they? I mean, there's a there's an H28 on Trade Me at the moment for three grand, including the mooring. Admittedly, it looks real run down, but I mean, it's fiberglass, somebody will bring it back. Um, or they won't. Is that the fate of the boats now? It's just funny because it's the boats themselves, but it's also the culture around it. You know, like when I've had this on Trade Me, you know, a guy yesterday put me right off like he, he was like, you've only had it for a month and you've bought it for $3,000 and you did this and you did that and this real tone, like, you know, in the questions. And, I mean, I've had this for six months and um, and 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 I've done quite a lot to it and, and I love it very dearly and... and, and um, uh, so that stuff kind of hurts, and it brings me to the question of why that sort of culture is around um, boats, you know. I, I, um, I, I've said several times I buy and sell caravans, that's what I do for a living, the caravan hunter, so I go out and find caravans and I clean them up and sell them. It's really interesting, when I buy them, people are real happy to, to, to sell them. And, you know, because it's a caravan, something, you know, if you're using, you're using, if you're not, you not using it, you don't want it anymore. So, you know, people are grateful to sell them, grateful that I give reasonably good prices and take them home and clean them up and sell them for more. And then the people I sell them to are happy to buy them because they want a caravan. It's, it's a good business. It's, with boats, that same thing just doesn't work. I, I don't really know why. You know, like if I buy a boat, clean up and sell it, like why do people object to that? Is it because they're too personal? Is it the people that do object to it? Are they the people that miss out and don't have the money to buy them? And so I'm real sorry for those people. Um, what is it? I, I, don't, I don't know. Do people object to um, capitalist society? I mean, you know, the butter and bread you buy, the marmite you buy has gone through that process as well. You know, like um, someone's bought it and someone's sold it. So it's the world we live in. Um, and I kind of think on a personal level, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that I don't get to do that with yachts more, because I love yachts. And I kind of feel like if I did do more of that, it's kind of saving yachts a little bit, you know? Like it's taking a yacht that someone's sort of forgotten and not using anymore, and hopefully getting it into the hands of someone that did. I sold a um, Nova 28 just recently, uh, a couple of months ago, three months, geez, it might be five months ago, whenever it was. And, uh, and the, I ran and I talked to the guy the other day and they were off to Barrier. And that boat had been sitting in Waiuti River and, and not being used. That felt real good. That felt real, real good. That's real rewarding. But, you know, like, I, I don't know. So, so anyway, in the next year, I'm just going to concentrate on caravans. And I think because Sami is so hard to sell, I think um, I, I won't go through that process of trying to sell it. I can't be bothered. And, um, and also, I love it. You know, it's useful. I think I'll... Um, sort of uh, remedied a little bit by uh, taking it to, 
to uh, Mangawai, uh, where I live, so I don't have the travel aspect. And over winter next year, I'll do just like the, uh, you know, a uh, bit of day sailing up and down the harbour, which will be fun. And like I said, you know, my goal is the same. Hey, um, anyway, it's a lovely look around. It. It's so nice, you know, um, I've been, had a lot of boats, man. I've had a lot more boats than most people. You know, more boats. I've had more boats than some brokers have had boats. Um, I always feel good. I, I, you know what? It's not entirely correct. I feel good on Sarnia. That's correct. But also I feel good just about on any yacht I've ever had. Unless it's real run down and real crappy. And then you feel like Oscar the Grouch sitting in there like that. You know, especially if you sleep on it. You're sleeping on a rundown yacht. It's a horrible feeling, you see. You're like, the hell am I doing here? But if you're sleeping on a nice boat, it's like, oh, I feel, feel free and lovely. But Sunny is tracking real well. I varnished the outside of um, that out, out there. Um, I've got to do a bit of varnishing on here. I've been keeping the bottom uh, clean. Um, that My plan to not anti-fail is working well because it was spring when I had it on the hard. So it's four months ago now, and, and I cleaned the bottom, and I've had it in the water since then, and um, and I swam on it last week and cleaned all the bottom, and that's good. I mean, anti-foul doesn't last longer than that. Like, the dirt that was on it, that dirt would be on there if there was anti-foul on there too. So, um, anyway, um, with the little kiddies, it's been a little bit madcap with taking the kids on the boat. Uh, my little son's had not entirely positive reactions to it so I don't feel overly confident about getting out a hell, a hell of, as much as I like this summer but maybe I'll just go out on my own a bit with friends and then also take my wife and the kids because I've just had me and the kids and it'll be interesting to take my wife as well and just see how he reacts to that it's been the dinghy that he's found a bit hard and to be fair you know you've, you've seen my dinghy it's, it's, it's bloody tiny you know it really is a little little thing um I don't think it's. I don't think it quite cuts two meters. So um, anyway, uh, and this is Sammy. Hey, I tell you what, look, a bird. That see that bird at the front has found that it. it hasn't left since I've been here. Yeah, what? I hope that, two of them. I hope they haven't got a nest. I don't want to disturb their nest. They seem very stubborn. Are they petrels, or is that, or is that just how petrels are? Are they stubborn? There's the first bit of bird poo, and Sarnia hasn't tra attracted a whole lot of bird poo. I had other boats here, and you come out, and, um, and they're covered in bird poo. And the first three hours you're here, you're cleaning the stuff up. Hasn't happened with Sarnia. Is it the wood? Is that, is that one magic quality of a wood boat that no one talks about? They don't get pooped on. I don't think that's likely. Anyway, it's a lovely day here at Maharangi. Um, and life goes on. And um, I hope you all feeling good I hope you've got nice summer plans look at Sarnia isn't it just a beautiful beautiful boat man I tell you what I feel I can't believe this was on for five thousand dollars and no one just leapt on it you know admittedly hey I've been real sketchy with it I don't want to sell it don't want to sell it don't want to sell it and um and even you know, I'm kind of okay with it now. I mean, a little trailer sailor, I've been there with trailer sailors. I do get bored of them. And, um, I mean, I get bored of all boats, I guess, don't I? But, um, anyway, one of my New Year's resolutions is to hopefully have this for the whole year. And just be settled with it and, and concentrate on work. Do some sailing. And, um, and, and also, slowly but surely, do all the little things on the side I like to do to get it to the point I'd like it to be. Today I'm going to do some cleaning. There's just a little bit of muck around here. Just going to wipe it off with um, some uh, oh all that stuff. Earth that Earthwise um, multi surface cleaning spray. Um, I noticed the primary filter on the engine needs cleaning. Um, that that bowl is um, quite full of crap. Um, whether I do that today, look around Sarnia, isn't it just the prettiest little boat you've ever seen? I bought some lunch, I really, it's a funny thing, they're not particularly efficient, you know, I, I guess oven is probably more efficient, but I really dig using 
these um, alcohol stoves. They're a real hoot. Um, and also, hey, if you are one of those people that get on drinking and question up everyone else and make it, you know, like, I mean, you know, live and let live. You know, you, you know, I, I can understand whatever is going on for you is going on for you, and, and I don't need to change the world and change you, and I don't want to. Um, but I want to live in peace, and um, and and I think, you know, it, it is what it is, and, and and we go on. And I, you know, and I feel strangely grateful because I have still got Sanya. I think I would. I think if I had a soul this boat, I wouldn't regret it. Um, because boats like this, oh, they come along, but not this tidy. This is tidy and feels good, you know. Anyway, hope you're all well. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.